Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Straight Out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston. Today we're back for episode number 12 of my Philadelphia Phillies franchise here and I will be 15 the show. And today we have skipped ahead into the early days of May here, May 9th to be exact. And as you can see, uh, this Phillies team is remaining competitive in the standings. Uh, we enter this game 16-15 and 15 and actually tied for first in the NL East. And you can take a look at the team rankings there and it's really been the pitching. We're third in the league in ERA. Uh, I think all five of our starters have e ERAs below like 3.2 maybe. So it's really been uh, it's really been the pitching that has helped this team uh, sort of stay competitive uh, so far this season. That's kind of to be expected. I mean, I think we've built up our pitching staff, uh, you know, a little bit better than we built up our offense so far, at least in terms of, you know, getting young prospects. I mean, we've pretty much loaded our our, uh, you know, our, our minor league system with good young pitchers, and some of those guys have started to come up. I mean, obviously, Eduardo Rodriguez, he's going to be pitching today. He's had a fantastic year. You know, we've got Brian Johnson and Aaron Nola as well, so... And we're taking on the Cubs, so we've got a little throwback edition of MLB 15, the show here, rocking some old throwback uniforms here between Philadelphia and Chicago. And uh, you're going to see Jose Bautista ground out there to end off the first. So we're heading to the bottom of the first. Take a look at your Cubs lineup today. And you can see it is loaded with some of those good young prospects that the Cubs have. And you can see they're going to be opposed by Eduardo Rodriguez, who enters this game with a 2.49 ERA. 40 strikeouts through 40 and or 43 in the third inning so far. And we're in the bottom of the first with two men out. The 1-0 count to Anthony Rizzo. He's going to fly this one to right. Dominic Brown over to play it. He will end up making the catch, and that will retire the side and end off the inning. So both teams threw one scoreless. And uh, he, uh, I, I didn't uh, mention earlier, but Rodriguez is going to be opposed by Jason Hamill today. So that is our pitching matchup. And you can see a little bit of baseball history on May 9, 2010. Dallas Braden threw his perfect game on Mother's Day for the Oakland Athletics. Jose Miguel Fernandez is going to ground it to the 6-4-3 double play there. A nice defensive play by the Chicago Cubs middle infield. And uh, now we're going to go into the top of the second still with the two outs. Now 2-2 count. And Goriel is going to strike out swinging on that high fastball. Was looking for the off-speed stuff down low. Hamill ends up blowing a fastball by Goriel, and we are through one and a half now. Bottom two. This is Miguel Montero. A Bautista grounded to him. Steps on the bag at one. Throws to second in time. They get the tag play. And what a play at that. Take a look at this. You're going to see Bautista ranging over towards the bag. Plants his back foot right on that. And then fires a bullet to second base right on the money. Where uh, Fernandez is able to apply the tag on Jorge Soler and get the double play ball. So we're into the bottom of the third now. Here is Jason Hamill up a 2-2 count. And Hamill's going to go down swinging on the outside slider. And uh, that would end up being Rodriguez's first strikeout of the day. And much like Yunel Escobar in the last episode, Hamill's timing completely off there. So we're into the top of the fourth now. Guillermo Heredia faking the bunt right there on the 3-0 count. And he ends up working a four-pitch walk to get things going here in the fourth. We get a leadoff base runner. And Dominic Brown is up next. And Brown's going to shoot this one into left field for a base hit. So we get the first two men in this inning on and that is going to make it uh, two on for the meat of our order. Jose Bautista and Michael Franco do up next. So let's see what the two right-handed sluggers can do. The 2-0 counts Bautista. He grounds this one to the third baseman to second for one. Relay to first in time and a 5-4-3 double play. A big one at that. That's going to be a helper to Jason Hamill right there. So now a man out there with two down for Michael Franco. The first pitch of his A-B. And he's going to shoot this one into right. And that will get down and be a base hit. The run will come home and score, and the Phillies are on the board. They take a one to nothing lead on the back of Michael Franco's RBI single, which drives home Guillermo Heredia. So now with two away, and Franco at first, he's going for second here. Throw down in time, and they got him a nice throw from uh, Kyle Schwarber, getting the start at catcher today over Miguel Montero. So now we're going to skip ahead here to the bottom of the fourth inning. Leadoff batter Starlin Castro with an 0-2 count. He's going to shoot this one into the hole. Diving stop by Yulieski Goriel. Gets up and throws to first from his knees. In time, a web gem right there from the Cuban import, Yulieski. Goriel, take a look at it, full extension, and then whips this one to first from his knees. Obviously playing second, no need to get too much uh, under that throw. And you can see Eduardo Rodriguez, he can appreciate a good defensive play. He salutes his defender right there. So we're on to the top of the fifth. Jose Miguel Fernandez leading things off. He's going to ground this one, and that's going to get through into center field for a base hit just past the ranging Addison Russell. They're playing second today for the Cubs. So it'll be a leadoff base hit. For another one of our Cuban imports, Jose Miguel Fernandez. Now he's going to be followed up by Goriel to play 2-0 count. He's going to take this one into left field for a base hit. So again, we're going to get the first two runners on in the inning. We were able to capitalize last time around. Let's see if we can do it again here. Hank Conger is the next man up, and he's going to pop this one up. Just gets under that fastball there. 
infield fly rule will be in effect. Chris Bryant will make the play. So now uh, after Eduardo Rodriguez came up and sack fly the runner over to third, Oduble Herrera up. He's going to ground that one to Castro, flip to second, and that will be in time for the third out of the inning. So uh, Hamill again works around a jam there. Philly's getting some base runners, but not often able to convert so far today. But you can see Rodriguez is going to strike out another young phenom right there. That is Chris Bryant. He goes down. Now an 0-2 cat to Jorge Soler, the next batter. And he's going to go down to the two-seamer, running away from the right-handed batter right there. The second straight strikeout. And take a look at the team ERA leaders in the National League. A couple surprising teams up there. Rockies and Philly, second and third. Definitely did not expect to see that. But uh, anyway, bottom five still Kyle Schwarber up. Schwarber's going to fly this one to right. Brown over to play it. Battling the sun there in that corner, and he cannot make the play. Schwarber around second, heading for third, and he will get in there safely with a two out. I think they ruled that an error, but it's effectively a triple now. So Junior Lake up next. He's going to go down swinging, though, in the changeup. Rodriguez strikes out the side. And that would do it for the uh, bottom of the fifth right there. So we're on to the sixth. Now Heredia leading things off. 0-1 count. And he's going to try and lay down a bunt there. A nice play. Bryant throw to first in time. But Rizzo drops it. So it was a pretty nice bunt by Heredia. Maybe a bit too strong there as Bryant was able to get there and make a strong throw to first to get the ball there in time. But as you can see, Rizzo just doesn't squeeze the glove, it looks like, or something. So Heredia is on to first. He's going to be going for second on the first pitch. Curveball inside. And Heredia is gunned out at second. Looks like he might have gotten the hand in there safely. But uh, they rule him out. So now Dominic Brown up with no one on the next pitch of the AB. Is going to be killed to center field. That ball is back. And it is gone. A solo home run for Dominic Brown. And he extends the Phillies lead. Now it is a 2 to nothing ball game. Could have been a 3 to nothing ball, ball game. Excuse me. But uh, of course, Heredia had to get thrown out at second there. Either way, Dominic Brown with a solo shot extends our lead. Now the next batter, Jose Bautista. He cranks one to left field. This ball is back. And it is caught at the warning track by the left fielder, Junior Lake, there. Getting the start over Chris Coughlin. I imagine Chicago's got a nice little platoon going there in left field these days. So Michael Franco's up next. He's going to take the next pitch. And he crushes one to deep right center. This ball is back. And it is again caught at the warning track. So Hamill gets away with a couple ones right there. Could have easily been a four or five to nothing ball game. But instead, the lead remains at two. But take a look at the barehanded play by Michael Franco. Showing off the defensive prowess right there. Not really known uh, to be a great defender, but showing off uh, some nice defensive abilities. So we're through six now. You can take a look at the six inning recap. We got a two to nothing lead. Rodriguez one hitting the Cubs so far. The Cubs themselves are going to bring on Rafael Soriano, the recently signed Rafael Soriano in uh, real life here. I guess actually he was signed uh, probably like a month ago by now, but he did just get activated. And uh, so he comes on. He actually strikes out Jose Miguel Fernandez right there who tried to check his swing on that inside slider. Could not do so. Now Ulieski Goriel's the next batter. 1-2 count. He's going to foul this one into right field territory. This one looks like it's headed for the seat, but it's going to warp back into play and right into the glove of Jorge Soler, the right fielder, who makes the play for the second out of the inning. And uh, I really don't even know how to describe this play. I think I will leave that one up to my man here, Bill Nye. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Fuck. Oh, my. my, my. So moving forward here in the game, we've still got Eduardo Rodriguez on the mound. Bottom seven, Chris Bryant up. He's going to go down for the second time today again on the changeup. And Rodriguez picks up his fifth strikeout of the afternoon. Take a look at the uh, show tracker here, the pitch tracker. We're going to go fastballs for the first four pitches, I believe, of this AB. Actually, three pitches, excuse me. And then the fourth pitch, we uh, drop the bottom out on that changeup. So we're into the top of the eighth now. Soriano still on the mound. Man on second. Dominic Brown up. He's going to ground this one to Addison Russell at second. He'll make the throw on to first in time. And that will retire the side. So we're on to the bottom of the eighth now. Kyle Schwarber up to lead things off. And he's going to take this one into deep left center field. That ball is back. And it's going to one up up off the wall. Played by the left fielder Guillermo Heredia today. Who uh, got the start over Cody Ashey. And uh, he ends up holding Schwarber to a double. So two batters later with Addison Russell up. Russell's going to hit this one into center field for a base hit. Herrera over to play it. He will just fire it into second. Actually to the cutoff man. Excuse me. Schwarber comes around and scores. And that will drive home the first run of the day for the Chicago Cubs. So the next batter is going to be a pinch hitter. It's Miguel Montero coming on now with just one out in the inning. Rodriguez only at 77 pitches. And he's going to ground this one to second for one on to first in time. A double play. And that gets Rodriguez out of the inning. So he is through eight. He's going to come out for the ninth at only 78 pitches for the 80th pitch of the game. Starling Castro to deep left field. And this game is tied. Starling Castro with a solo home run. And he ties the game at two. 
like I said, we left Rodriguez in there at only a 70, I think, yeah, I mean, that was the second pitch of the inning. That was his 80th pitch, so I figured he probably wasn't going to be too tired yet. But uh, anyway, no one getting up in the bullpen, and Castro ties the game. So Albert Almora up the second pitch of his AB, and he's going to take this one to deep left field. Heredia going back at the track at the wall. Ball game over. Cubs win. A walk-off home run for Albert Almora, and the Phillies lose a heartbreaker. Eduardo Rodriguez pitched so well all game long right up until those last two batters Starling Castro and Albert Almora go back to back and that does it the Cubs win on throwback day here from Wrigley by a final score of three to two what a ball game fantastic uh, fantastic uh, drama right there really at the end by the Cubs I mean did not expect to see that one coming we can take a look at the replay Almora with a absolute bomb here off of Rodriguez I mean you gotta hit it far to hit it out in Wrigley uh, with the wind blowing in and you know, especially when it gets to those left field and right field corners when uh, the wall gets actually a little longer out there. You really got to hit it long, and uh, Almora absolutely crushed that one. So the Cubs win. Final score of 3-2. That is going to do it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thanks for watching. Those them out. Peace.